No score. Nobody has scored yet. First and 10, North Brunswick from the Franklin 45-yard line. Jelani Devonish winter wide to the left. Two receivers right. Also two to the left. Garbolino with Boyd to his left. Working out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. Drops it back. Throws it right. Completes it along the 33. And breaking a tackle along the far sideline. That's Marquise Perry. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Marquise Perry breaking free and getting to the end zone. Another marquee reception for Marquise Perry from 45 yards out. And the Raiders take a 6 to nothing lead with 1.14 left in the second quarter. First and 23 at the 41. Two receivers left. Garbolino out of the shotgun, dropping back the pass, looking, looking, throws a deep ball for Perry over the middle. He's got him at the 10, 5, Perry into the end zone. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders, Marquise Perry. A perfect threaded needle across the middle of the field. Frankie goes to Hollywood, and while he's there, he finds Marquise Perry for 41 yards, and the Raiders lead it 13 to nothing. Looks like they've got it on the 17 gain of 15 first down and 10 for the Raiders. Two receivers left. Deloach to the right of Garbolino. Frankie takes the snap, gets to Deloach. He runs left. 15, 10. Deloach trying to break a tackle. Five. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. David Deloach. First varsity touchdown for number two, David Deloach. And the Raiders take a 20 to nothing lead. Garbolino out of the gun, throws it over the middle and wide open across the middle. I believe that's Myers going into the end zone. Touchdown, North, take that, David Deloach. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. David Deloach across the middle. And the Raiders have a 28 to nothing lead. 27, excuse me, pending the extra points. And so, you know, when the, be the beginning of the year started, who would have thought with Miles Bailey leaving, with Leon Lowry leaving, with, you know, Samad Wingo, Terrell Pereira, you know, a whole bunch of guys leaving, who would have thought 5-0 and right now? Garbolino takes the final knee with 30 seconds to go. With all the guys that the Raiders lost last year, Demai Jenkins, Dave Hicks, Right on down the line, we mentioned Miles Bailey, we mentioned Leon Lowry, we, I didn't mention Samad Wingo, we mentioned Terrell Pereira, all the guys that the Raiders lost, who would have thought 5-0 and oh right now? Five seconds left, as the clock officially hits zero, and this game is over, and the North Brunswick Raiders, having their best start since 2000, are 5-0. and oh with a 27 to nothing win over the Franklin Warriors here at Steve Lebro Field. 12 straight wins in the regular season for the Raiders. Mike Saipot, Mr. October, 16 and 0 for his career in the 10th month of the calendar year. And he gets to carry that into next year. I still say I still petition, thank you. I still petition for Mike Saipot before kickoff to come out onto the field by himself with the Undertaker music. I still petition for that. But anyway, I digress. 16-0 is Mike Saipot in the month of October. North Brunswick defeats Franklin for the first time ever. The Raiders were 0-4 lifetime against Franklin until now. Defeating Franklin for the first time ever. So again, we talked about in the pregame, just another barrier for this coaching regime to cross. And they have done that. So now, South Brunswick's on the horizon next week. And the Raiders want to keep, you know, that Mike Elko trophy here on, on this side of Route 130. So it'll be 5-0 North Brunswick against now 4-1 South Brunswick. Next Friday night. And let's recap tonight's game. Frankie Garbolino again becomes the first sophomore quarterback in North Brunswick history to throw for a thousand yards in a season.
doing it in five games. His first five starts as a varsity quarterback, never been done in Raiders history. It may never be done again. Who knows? But late second half, late first quarter, wait, wait, let me start over. Late first half, second quarter, Garbolino finding Marquise Perry. Garbolino finding Marquise Perry on a 45-yard touchdown catch and run to start the scoring. That was with a minute 14 left in the half. And then 27 seconds later of game time, Garbolino finding Marquise Perry again, this time for 41 yards. And then early second half, David Deloach gets into the act with a touchdown run and then Deloach catching a touchdown pass for the final score of the night. You, you, you won! <laughs> I wish I could take the credit, but... David Deloach, that's Crystal Wade, by the way. David Deloach uh, catching a touchdown pass to cap off the scoring to make it 27 to nothing, and that's where the Raiders win it. So now 5-0, and and again, you know, 12 straight wins in the regular season. And by the way, where's my phone? It is 9.26 p.m., which means it is officially South Brunswick week. And so after that, of course will be the two playoff games in however the Big Central Football Conference or the NJSIA decide to divvy it up. I think we'll learn more about that next week. But, you know, outside of that, there, there's really not much left to add. You know, the Raiders obviously a stellar effort on defense. They, they keyed in on Ashwani Stewart. They were able to key in on him and uh, not let him do too much. We mentioned the minus three yards for Franklin, their offense in the first half. And obviously a big factor. And, and so, you know, just a dominant performance uh, on both sides of the ball tonight. Again, with, you know, once we got to about a minute and 30 left in the first half.